This is an overview presentation of the setup of blanket purchase orders and the use of vendor ASNs to streamline SAP Business One processes. The purpose of the blanket purchase order function is to set up the pricing and terms with suppliers and then to send releases and forecasts against this blanket purchase order to provide better visibility to the supplier for the demand for their services and materials. Suppliers in turn must send advanced ship notifications or ASNs when a shipment leaves their plant. Then you, you can import the ASNs into SAP as draft PO goods receipts. This provides you with visibility of the in-transit shipments and it improves the accuracy of the receiving function by reducing data entry. At the end of a day, accounts payable can create invoices based on the PO goods receipts and pay based on ASNs, thereby not waiting for uh, invoices from the vendor and reducing the amount of effort the clerical staff has. Let's get started. To set up a supplier to accept electronic transmission of purchasing requirements, three screens within the Business Partner Master File need to be updated. The first is the main Business Partner screen. On this screen, the trading partner is a two-digit required field located below the contact person. The only restriction in the two digits is, is that duplicates across vendors is not allowed. The supplier code must also be input. This is normally an ID that is assigned to your suppliers by you. The second screen is the payment terms screen. and In the payment terms screen, the price list to follow must be set up to blanket PO0 price list. This is simply a price list that has the prices for all items set to zero. This is required in order to ensure that the blanket PO price from the blanket PO itself defaults during the receipt of the ASN. The third business partner screen is the accounting tab. And here is where we set a flag that says that the vendor is accepting EDI. The next step will be to create a blanket purchase order for this vendor. Purchase order quotations within SAP will be used to define and maintain the blanket purchase orders. In the EDI integration, the blanket PO is a purchasing agreement between your company and a supplier to provide materials at specific prices for a specific period of time. Releases against this blanket will inform the supplier of what to ship and when. The supplier is expected to review releases against the blanket purchase order and ship product. They are also expected to send an ASN electronically. SAP will import the ASN and hold it until the goods actually arrive in the plant. We'll go through this process now. This is the blanket purchase order. Some fields are informational while others are critical to the usage of blanket POs. The vendor must be set up with the EDI use flag as we've just discussed. The document series that we're using will be the blanket. This also must be set up. The posting date should be the start date of the blanket purchase order and the valid until is the date that the blanket purchase order ends. The information required in the detail is the item the price and the quantity. And then there are some flags for 862 whether or not it is used and that's a yes or a no. A mask 246 represents Monday, Wednesday, Friday as ship dates where day two is Monday. We can also uh, flag the system to uh, determine which day of the week 830s are created in our system for this particular blanket and then the fabrication and material authorization days are also used. On a blanket purchase order release, for instance, if material days are 21 and the fabrication days are 7, then the forecasted schedule sent to the supplier will allow the supplier to purchase material per our schedule up to 21 days in advance and to produce items up to 7 days in advance and have our company guarantee payment. Suppliers are expected to send ASNs to our plant 
when the shipment leaves their plant. This data is captured by Radley and translated into an XML file and placed in a specific directory on the server. SAP then processes these XML files and creates PO Goods Receipts draft documents within Business One. These can be viewed at any time. When the goods actually arrive at your plant, the draft document is retrieved and the actual goods, receives, goods received are compared. A PO Goods Receipt is created automatically. At the end of the day, accounting can review all PO Goods Receipts from blanket POs and automatically create AP invoices. The vendor should not send an invoice. Let's review this process. To import data to SAP, go to the Data Import menu. Go to the EDI menu and click on the Import iCaris files. This brings up a menu. It says OK to process. Select Yes. And then click the arrow to begin the processing. This will come up with a command line uh, system that will go out and actually do the work create, calling the SDK within SAP. When it's completed, you'll be able to we type in exit and we close. At this point now, we should be able to go into the purchasing system, go into purchasing reports, look up the drafts. In this case, we're going to select goods receipts PO. We click OK. And here we have an open PO goods receipts draft right now. We can click on the arrow right here and we'll see the information including the prices that we set up on the blanket purchase order. So these are the items, this is the same vendor, and this is the receipt date. Now to go and change this into an actual PO goods receipts, we could go in and change quantities, or we can click, simply click the add button and we'll have it as a PO goods receipt. At the end of the day, accounting uses the open items list report to see all the goods receipts POs that have been received. The vendor reference number shows the blanket purchase order number. They can check the details of any receipt using the gold arrow to drill down. In addition, we drill into it and we copy to an AP invoice. The accounts payable invoice is presented to us with the prices and the quantities that have been received by our receiving clerk. We click the add button. We say yes, we can continue. And now we have our open accounts payable with that supplier. Thank you for reviewing the Blanket PO presentation from Macedon. For more information, contact Don Mays at 248-432-2676 or send me an email at donm at macedon.com.